Breaking news. A wall was erected at the entrance of the city of Bafut on the night of Thursday to Friday March 22, 2019 by separatist militants. The district of Bafut located in the department of Mazam, is cut off from the rest of the northwest region. Secessionists erected a wall on the road to Bafut, according to security sources in the northwest. The separatists first dug a foundation and then built a wall with reinforced concrete material. Those who built this wall, have introduced a steel frame to ensure an ultra-stable foundation before starting the first meters of the reinforced concrete wall, says our source. To prevent the advance of the defense forces, Ambazonians barricade or regularly cut the ground tracks. On the night of 08 to September 9, 2018, secessionists had cut the road at a place called Akam on the Bamandabafasam axis. With the help of a heavy craft, they had dug the cliff of Akam, preventing at the same time any car traffic on this axis. The security situation has deteriorated in both the northwest and southwest regions during the past year. The International Crisis Group Non-Governmental Organization NGO, considers the so-called Anglophone crisis to be one of the ten conflicts to be monitored in 2019 in the world. International Crisis Group believes that neither the government nor the separatist groups intend to dialogue today, a step nonetheless unavoidable according to the NGO so that the situation improves in the two regions in crisis since October 2016. Tanda Theophilus researcher for NGO International Crisis Group reports that there are already a dozen armed groups in the English-speaking regions of Cameroon. These militias who camp in the forest, succeed attacks against the regular army because they have the control of the ground. The secessionist armed groups strike and return to the bush. More than 200 members of the Cameroonian Defense and Security Forces have lost their lives in this conflict as well as more than 500 civilians, according to the International Crisis Group. This crisis was widely discussed on December 31 by the President in his speech of wishes. Paul Baya said he was aware of the consequences for the population and again called on the separatist groups to lay down their arms.